Rightio, <clears throat> my project for the fifth is going to be a wall shelf. I'm going to partly use this as a template, but I'm not going to have it there. I'm just going to have just like a little double one like that. So I want it quite small. Um, so I'm going to make that. And I also um, want to make a little mantle clock for on the fireplace mantle. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. And I also want to make a wall clock in the kitchen for Time Cottage. So there are a few of the ideas I have so far today. I'll make a start and we'll see how I get on. So here I am measuring up the sides and the back of the shelf and how I want it. Um, and then obviously I um, tried the little piece of wood but it wasn't quite suitable. So I went back to the bigger board and cut it out there. Then I start gluing it together, making sure it's level. Um, it's always a little bit ad hoc with me. Um, yep, my desk is still extremely untidy. I need to tidy that. That's my job for today, hopefully, or tomorrow, or whenever. Anyway, uh, it's it's gluing together quite well, and we'll see how we get on. So here is the little finished shelf. Um, once it's fully dried, I will paint it. I'll give it a little light sanding first and then paint it. And it will be all ready to go up in the um, doll's house. As quite a lot of the accessories in the Time Cottage kitchen are white and red, I decided to paint this shelving unit white, um, mainly white, and then I thought I might add some uh, red accents. But um, first of all, it's, it's painting it white, as you can see here. I leave it to dry for a little while and then I do a second coat. Here I am adding some tape so I can paint the back of it red. I decided to paint just the backboard um, red and uh, I used some um, blue masking tape and it worked quite well actually. It, uh, I was quite pleased with it. I had to do a tiny little touch-ups when I finished but generally it was it was pretty good. My little shelf is made and I'm quite pleased with it. I've hopefully toned down the yellow a little with a, a kind of um, uh, artist pencil. So we're going to see what it looks like on the wall in Time Cottage. I've had a little change around in the kitchen in Time Cottage, but I'm not sure how I like it. This was tucked behind the door um, and I've moved it here and I've got like the washing basket and the washing thing tucked behind the door. It's hard to uh, see. It's a very small space. Um, so if I have it like that, then this little unit would have to go on the wall over here. And I mean, it obviously would work over there. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll put the unit back how it was. So the hatch dresser unit was just behind the door, and I think I do prefer it that way because it sort of makes it easier to see inside the room. Um, but then do I stick do I stick this shelf up here? I'd have to go over that picture that's stuck on the wall, but, you know, that, well, maybe I could put it lower down. I don't know. It now almost looks too big for the room, but it's not. I mean, it is, it is in relation to the size of everything else. Uh, yeah, I just don't know. Or maybe I should stick it on that side. Maybe it would look better on that side of the of the um, of the kitchen. And then I did try moving the cooker over. That is another permutation. I'd quite like to straighten that up a bit if I could, but I'm a bit worried about breaking it. Um, so yeah, that's another permutation. But again, the, the question is, is where do I put my little shelf? Maybe it just wasn't needed. Now I've made it, it probably wasn't needed. Don't know. Anyway, I've made the shelf. Where it's going to go, I have no idea. Yeah. Anyway, I really don't know how to have the layout in this kitchen. I'm very undecided now. I know I want the kitchen under this under uh, the kitchen sink under the window because I think it's nice to be able to look out the window when you're washing your dishes. 
So, yep, obviously it still needs lots of accessories for the shelving unit, the hatch dresser and things. But that's where I am at the moment. So thank you for watching this latest make for day number five. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you another time. Bye. <music>